Previously, we were scared, but now we are no longer afraid. We didn't even know if we could live with them, given what we had done to them. But then they forgave us. Now we are all reunited. At first, I thought it would be impossible to reconcile. But shortly after the lessons they gave us, it has become possible. My heart was open when I realized that it was possible to forgive another person, your neighbor, who killed your child. When you're faced with repeated apologies, it is impossible not to forgive. I did not want to talk with them. I did not even want to see them. Had I had the opportunity, I would have taken my revenge. But because it was forbidden by law, I didn't. So everyone lived in his corner. But little by little, thanks to the work of the association and the help of the state, we are coming together, little by little. The fourth step of the reconciliation process is to develop an action plan that is based on the obstacles that are found in creating a harmonious relationship. The plan in question seeks solutions to identify obstacles, whether it's from the side of genocide survivors or from the side of ex-prisoners of genocide. Everyone has their own problems which they have identified and prevents them from playing a part in genuine reconciliation.